Hey fams, happy Friday. I know it's Friday. I've missed you guys so much on Positive Vibes here in Push. And it's been about a week, two weeks that I missed you guys. Well, this week is going to be the second week, but um, I had so many deadlines to um, complete and just so many things that's happening. And if you guys are following me on my channel, then you will see all the things that's been going on. But it's been great. It's been a lot. And I am so grateful to God um, for just so many blessings and wonderful people that I am surrounded by. So with that said, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys just a quick word. I'm not going to do like an in-depth Bible study today on Positive Vibes, but I am just going to give you a quick word. Um, I kind of just want to give you some inspiration. Um, I was going to talk about Proverbs 31 women today, um, and I'm kind of going to bring in some of that, but I really just want to encourage you guys, um, you know, today. So before we go into all of that, let's push, let's pray today. Let's, let's pray until something happens because I'm kind of incorporating push with positive vibes, um, where you'll be getting that once a week. I know I missed last week and yesterday the video was supposed to go out, but I'm so sorry that it didn't. I've been, like I said, just been crazy busy and exhausted. And yesterday was one of those days where it was compiled with being busy and exhaustion. And <laughs> my kids are home from school this week. So it's been nonstop. But here we go. Let's get into it. Father, we just come to you this morning. We thank you, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord God. And we know that if we put our trust in you, God, that our hearts and our minds and our bodies will line up with your word, Lord God. Father, this morning we just come to you, Lord, and we repent for all of our sins, and we ask that you please forgive us, Lord God. Father God, for we know, Lord Jesus, oh God, that you hear us, Lord God, when our hearts and our minds are clear, Lord Jesus. So, Father, we tend to you this morning. We ask that you come in and that you, you sup with us, Lord God. We ask that you give us inspiration. We ask, Lord God, that you open up our minds and blow it, Lord God, like only you can. Lord, this morning... Um, we just want to be encouraged. We want to be transformed. We want to be renewed. We want to be rejuvenated, Lord God. Father God, as moms, as wives, as women, business women, career women, we can tend to go, 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 go and not slow down. And it can hit us, Lord God, just so quickly. And so we just want to invite you in our conversation this morning and just ask for your restoration and ask for your rejuvenation and ask for your peace this morning, God. Father, we pray, Lord God, that you will use us, Lord. And Father, I pray that the words that I speak will come directly from you, Lord. And Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, oh God, that it will help somebody today. It will, you know, en encourage somebody today. It will lead somebody today, Father, and that they will hear and listen to you, Father God, through all the words, through all the noise, through all the distractions that may occur, Father, throughout and throughout our day today. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you move, Lord God, like only you can. We pray that you bless like only you can, strengthen like only you can, give peace, God, like only you can, Lord, and use us today, Lord. Father, we just worship you and we glorify you, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that this Bible study or this encouragement, Father God, would just be one of strength, Lord, and one of peace and one of guidance, Lord Jesus. We just thank you this morning and we honor you this morning. We give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. So today I just want to encourage y'all. Like it's I just want to encourage. I just want to encourage you guys as women. We go through so much. Don't pay attention to the background. I'm doing a whole lot of stuff in my office. But I just want to encourage you guys this morning. As women, we go through so much, you guys. And not only that, we kind of 
not all the time, but sometimes we, we kind of fight against each other, you know, and I think that as women, we we need to be each other's strengths and each other's support system. Um, you know, we, this life is, this life is so fragile, right? It's, it's Solomon says it in Ecclesiastes, life is like a vapor. And it's like, we need to rally around each other. And when we see one person down, we need to pick that one person up. Um, you know, when Jesus was walking on earth, he never left the one and went after the thousands. He always made sure that the one was, you know, was taken care of. And he went back for the one. He went looking for the one, you know, and making sure that the one person that was lost was found. And so today I just want to just tell you or encourage you, not tell you, but encourage you to, if you see a sister that is down, you know, don't kick her. She may be going through something right now. She may be experiencing life in a, a tough spot. She may be going through a rock and a hard place right now. Don't kick her while she's down. Don't, don't talk about her. Don't, you know, don't tear her down behind her back. Don't kill her with your tongue because you think that murdering somebody is just, you know, physical or using weapons. No, murdering somebody is also talking about them with your tongue because the Bible says that death and life is in the power of the tongue. We have the ability to uplift and and um in, to increase we have the ability to encourage we have the, the ability to help somebody to grow we also have the ability to tear somebody down and kill their self-esteem we have the ability to make somebody feel bad about themselves you know because we words are spirit and and when you speak it positively or negatively it takes place it, it happens it comes to life and so we have to be careful the words that we use when we are talking to or, or talking about our sisters you know be it that they're saved or not saved it doesn't matter we have to make sure that our words are positive and that they are life right we are the salt of the earth and so when we speak we're supposed to we're supposed to add flavor we're supposed to add you know good taste you know like when you eat food it's like if it don't taste good you don't want to eat it right but if it tastes amazing you keep going back for more and so you want to be that person that when you encourage somebody they a person they keep coming back for more and they tell somebody else and they tell somebody else and you know they want to they look out for you they they look to you and they want to hear more of what you say they want to be around you they want to be surrounded by your presence because of the words that you speak it's sweet and it's flavorful and it's uplifting and it's kind and it's meek and it's encouraging you don't want to be a person or a woman that that is of um, you know, such a strong temperament that when you speak, instead of speaking, you're, you're killing, um, you know, somebody with your words. You don't want to be that person that, you know, discourages someone just by the mere premise of your encounter or by the mere premise of your countenance or your words, or even the tone of your words, right? Sometimes you, you hear that, that that saying, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. We should be able to come across um, positively. We should be able to speak life and not death. We should be able to speak and be adults without raising our voices or you know being of a negative temperament or anything like that nobody wants to be around a negative person nobody wants to be around a miserable person i know i don't um and if if that's your countenance then we can't hang because in my uh circle i, I need somebody that's going to be able to speak with me and dwell with me and understand me and we can talk and be you know, adults and be on the same page about something, about anything, whatever it is, right? And so women, we, we, we set the tone of our homes. Our husbands are the head of the household, right? Because Jesus is the head of him and he's the, the head of us. Now, let me elaborate. When I say the head, I don't mean like he's dominant over you or, you know, he, he, 
he takes over everything. That's not what I'm talking about. When I talk about the head, I'm talking about he covers you. He protects you, right? He's the first line of defense. And so your husband is that head, just like Jesus is the head of your husband. He gets instructions from God and God downloads it into him and he's able to lead the family. He's the priest of your household. Let me talk about my husband. My husband is the priest of our household. He is able to lead our family because he seeks God on behalf of our family and God downloads into his spirit and he is able to now take instructions from God and lead our family, right? I submit to my husband's authority. Ooh, that's going to blow somebody's mind. Somebody going to be upset about that. But I do. That doesn't mean that I am weak. That doesn't mean that I am not independent. That doesn't mean that I don't have a voice. That doesn't mean that I don't make my own decisions. I do. But it's bridal strength. It's not weakness. It's meekness, right? It's bridal strength. And when my husband and I get together, we talk about things and we come into agreement and whatever we come to agreement on, that is the decision that is made. But if we can't come to agreement, my husband makes the uh, makes the decision for our family. And I'm okay with that because I know that he's getting his information or his directions or instructions from God. And so when I'm submitting to my husband, I'm submitting to God, right? So women, it is so important that we follow through with the direct leadership of our husbands because it affects us on so many different levels, right? And so with that, we are able to be strong and be strengthened and we are able to speak life into our household. We're able to speak life into our kiddos. We're able to speak life even into our husbands because we are being led the right way. And so that helps us to um, cultivate us as women, as wives, as moms. It helps us to be the women that God is calling us to be. And so we are able to now speak into the lives of others and speak into the lives of, of, of other women to encourage them and to bring them into the peace and bring them into the calling or the will of God on their lives, right? We are able to, to do that. And so it's so important as women that we, we know, um, I don't want to say we know our place, but we know where we are in life and we know where we stand in life. It's so important. So I just, I just want to encourage you today. I know it probably sounds a little bit, you know, off center this message but i don't know who this is for this is for somebody you're probably thinking about oh my gosh you know i i need to be led i need to this i need to that or maybe you're just not there yet maybe you're just like you know what i'm not there to uh, allow a man to lead me or i'm not there to you know speak into lives of other women i'm not there to encourage somebody i'm not whatever it is this more this video is going to help you to figure out your stance because when when you as a woman we have different levels and our personal lives changes right we are we are raised in our parents household then we get we go into a courtship and then after the courtship we get married and so now we become of a different mindset we we start to do things differently because now we're not single anymore we are now married and we are career women and we are mothers and business women and you know all that good stuff and so we are meeting different women and going through our lives you know meeting different people and it's so important that you cultivate yourself as a woman i'm now in the process of redefining who i am right because for so many years i've been a mom for so many years i've been a wife i'm still those things but I, I I put myself so much into that, that me personally, my, you know, Shoshana, who she is, who I am, got kind of lost along the way. And so I am now in the process of redefining me and I am loving it because I am able to now 
rediscover who I am. And because of that, I'm able to become more stronger and I can speak into lives of women and tell them or teach them or show them, hey, listen, I've been there, done that. I know exactly what you're feeling. I know exactly what you're going through. And, you know, I'm able to encourage other women to be their best self and to be strong and, you know, to to, to um be enlightened and to be uplifted and to be the woman that God has called them to be, right? And so there are many different facets of us as women women. We are stay-at-home moms. We are stay-at-home working moms. We work outside of our homes. We are business women and, and career-driven women. And, you know, we are educated. We are, um, we, we are classy. We are elegant. We, it's so many different dimensions of who we are as women, right? We wear so many different hats. And so it's so important to know who you are. And it's also so important to be able to help another woman, help another sister, help another girl. The Bible said that the young shall teach the old, that we as women shall be light in the life of a young person. It's so many young people out there, young women out there that are misled and that are lost and their views are skewed. Their vision is skewed of what a woman should be. And so because they didn't have that, um, that vision of what a woman should be growing up, you know, they, in their minds, try to figure out what a woman should be. And in, in turn, it, it, it takes them on a whole completely different path because number one, you're going to find yourself in God. You are not going to find yourself outside of him because the true you, the real you is in God, right? We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are created in the eyes and the vision and the image of our creator. And so to find yourself, you got to seek God first. He's going to tell you who you are. He's going to tell you what you are made of, right? And in that light, you can now talk to a young girl or talk to a young woman and tell her, hey, listen, you are beautiful. You are, you are gorgeous. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are strong. You are amazing. You know, don't give away your jewels. Don't give away your virginity. Don't don't just, you know, give your heart to the first person that you see or, you know, go back to school and educate yourself. You know, don't don't be tied down when you're young to the point of where you can't find who you are or you can't be who God has called you to be. I mean, it's so many women, so many girls that is out here that are so vulnerable and susceptible to the the things of the devices of the enemy, right? And so that's why it's so important that as women, we talk and we speak to other women and we be for real, like we, we, we're real and transparent and let other women know like, yo, I'm struggling just like you. I'm going through things just like you. I'm, I'm feel insecure just like you. I feel like I want to scream. I want to, you know, just, uh, just take a pillow and scream into it. Right. I feel like I want to hit my head against the wall sometimes. Let somebody know, like, be transparent, be real about it. Don't act fake and just be like, oh, you know. Oh, God is good and I'm blessed and highly favored. We're all blessed and highly favored in God. But that does not mean that we don't go through things <laughs> throughout life. That doesn't mean that our real life is not jacked up sometimes. It doesn't mean that we're not feeling discouraged sometimes. It doesn't mean that we're not feeling tired and, and need strength sometimes, right? We are in this human body and we go through things. We, we feel things. We experience things. And it's important for us to be able to say that it's important for us to be able to speak that because other women are going through it other women are feeling the pressures of life and so that's why we tarry one for another that's why i do these bible studies or you know i do positive vibes because i want women to be empowered and know that you are strong oh my gosh it's so many different amazing things that we as women can offer and we we have on the inside of us we are nurturers everything starts with us everything starts with us life starts with us we are the giver of life we are able to bring life into this world god has created us to be 
amazing. Like we are incredible. And I know I'm, I'm incredible. Let me, I'm incredible because my father has created me to be that. I'm create, created in his image. And I know that I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I'm incredible. And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm boasting about my father because of what he has done, because of who he has created. And I want to tell you that today, you're amazing. You're incredible. You're awesome. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a magnificent being, right? And you have so much to offer. And so I just want to encourage you today that you, if you are feeling down, if you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling tired, if you need strength, pull from the throne of God. And let me encourage you, my sister. Let me be there to encourage you and tell you that you're going to make it and you're going to be okay. But you have to tap into what God has for you. How we do that, you ask? Seek his face. Go to his word. Read his word daily get strength from his word i'm not saying for you to you know to 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 read a bunch of different scriptures or read a, a book of day i mean hey listen if you can do that do that i know for me i have it on my app so i get like little little verses or you know little scriptures a day that i can read daily that helps me i don't have the natural time to sit down and go through a book in the bible i don't but i can do it daily by reading a scripture a day and that has helped me to be strong and to redefine the woman that i am and the woman that god is calling me to be I'm a lot stronger today than I used to be. I no longer suffer with insecurities. I used to be super insecure to the point of where I, I was a pushover. I never had a voice and it was crippling. It was like, it was, it was a disaster and it, it, it never helped me to be the woman that I wanted to be or that God wanted to me, me to be. And it took years. 14 years, 15 years, um, you know, for me to find me again. And it may take time. Some people take a longer time. Some people take shorter time. But it took me that long to find who I am again. My daughter is going to be 15 this year, my oldest. And it has taken me that long because I've always delved into motherhood and being a mother and being a great mother and, you know, pouring into my children. While I still do that, my kids are old enough now that I can kind of step away a little bit, give them some freedom and give them wings that they can now, you know, step into the precepts that God has set up for them. Right. I'm still mom. I'm still going to be there. I'm still. But mommy is finding who she is and mommy is being who God is calling her to be. And mommy is stepping into the multidimensional or different facets of who God is has called me to be right i'm a wife i'm a great wife i know and i'm i know i'm a bomb wife my husband will tell you the all all the way he'll tell you the whole truth that i'm a great wife i i study the bible on how to be a great wife proverbs 31 is my goal like <laughs> that is my goal she's an amazing mother she's an amazing wife she's an amazing businesswoman right she's an amazing woman of god she has a ministry she has a business she she sold she cooks she cleans she takes care of home she takes care of her her children she takes care of her motherly duties she takes care of her husband and her wifely duties and people know her husband because of who she is people know her children because of who she is she's also a farmer she owns land she owns properties like this this woman is amazing she's not just a stay-at-home mom that people look down on she is an amazing woman and by the way there's nothing wrong with stay-at-home mom I am a stay-at-home working mom and I am extremely proud of it I love being a stay-at-home working mom because I am able to cultivate my children and speak into my children's lives I am able to take care of my household and take care of my husband and take care of the things that I need to take care of all while building myself and building my business and and growing spiritually i love being a stay-at-home mom there is nothing wrong with that it's hard work it's it's great work and i love it and i would do i would just oh y'all i love it i love it so much i feel like it's one of my greatest passion is to serve my husband my children my household but i don't want to go off on a tangent i just want to talk to you guys about that and i just want to encourage you guys that it's okay <laughs> 
it's absolutely okay to be able to speak into the lives of other women it's absolutely okay to to uplift somebody else and to be encouraging y'all there's a lot of love and there's a lot of love to go around you know i i i've been on youtube for almost six years and i've reached out to so many different women here on youtube and um for the majority I want to say maybe two or three women that has really reached back like really really reached back um and really like just just have been there for me you know that that are also content creators um encouraging me and uplifting me and really just like oh my gosh just really really leading me and helping me to cultivate me as a woman and my channel and just everything and I'm just so grateful to those women because it doesn't matter how many women that you reach out to, if they don't reach back, it doesn't matter, right? And so I just want to be that person that if I see a person that is struggling, a woman that is struggling, that I can speak into their lives and help them to get through that struggle. Whether it be physical, financial, healing, whatever it is, I want to be able to pour into that person and help that person to get to the level that God wants them to be. And that is the mindset that we all need to have. We all need to tarry one for another. We all need to be, be there for each other. We all need to, whenever you see somebody down, we need to be able to pick them up. That's that's the way the world should work. That's the way that God has created it and intended it for it to be. That we are to be there to help each other. Don't mind the noise in the background. My daughter is making her breakfast. It's 7:52 in the morning. So um you know, but that that's that's the word for today. Just be there for each other and help each other. Don't tear each other down. You know, don't belittle another woman. Don't look down on another woman we're all coming up and we're all going through life and we're all struggling through life in some areas one or the other and it's just not right it's not cool to tear down another person like that is so whack <laughs> do they even still use that word that is just not cool it's not cool to tear down somebody else be it a woman or a man it's just not it's not cool we need to encourage each other and be careful with the words that we use because it is very very detrimental like it's serious the words that comes out of our mouth comes out of our hearts and when we open our mouth and those words begin to come out you better be careful of how they come out because they stay in the atmosphere and they last forever amen because they're spirit and they create the environment they create your atmosphere you have the power to change your circumstances your situation by speaking it also takes action but you also have to speak it right so i just want to leave that with you today i just want to encourage you today be each other's helper be each be each other's helpmate tarry one for another um lead and guide and encourage and uplift you know and if you see a sister today just tell her how beautiful she is tell her you know ain't nothing wrong with that tell her how beautiful she is and how be precious she is and how you're so incredibly grateful to god to have her in your life and have her in your presence call somebody today and tell them that you love them call somebody today and encourage them because we all need that we all need that don't let me struggle by myself help me don't let me struggle by myself help me and i definitely won't let you struggle by yourself right so i love you guys today if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome um i would love for you to go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet done so i would also love for you to double tap that bell for new notifications for when i do upload um videos that you will be notified for all my oldies but goodies subbies y'all know i love y'all so much i mean i just the friendships and the community that we have created here not i but we together that have created here on youtube has been amazing and i just love you guys so much i really really love you guys from the bottom of my heart i consider you guys fams family and i just i really appreciate y'all i really really appreciate you guys thank you for your encouraging words thank you for holding me down all the time and just for always being there and i just yeah let's let's continue to be positive in this space and continue to help a sister out and you know 
encourage another sister and be there for another sister because we are all in this together. Life is a journey and we are not an island. No man is an island. We cannot do this on our own, right? So let's be there for each other and let's uplift and encourage each other. I want to thank you guys today for joining me and I hope that this message has enlightened you and I hope that this message has given you encouragement and poured into your spirit and strengthened you today. Go and grow and be the best that you possibly can be. All right. Love y'all. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Yeah.